Aloha, everybody. Welcome to your art class. I hope you're doing okay. Hope you had a nice winter break. Uh, so today we're gonna do almost kind of a summary lesson because you know what? We're in the middle of winter. We all probably miss that sunshine and that warmth. So we're gonna use our art to kind of revisit that a little bit and create a little sunshine here, even though we're in the middle of winter. So we're gonna make a really cool self-portrait. That means a picture of yourself with sunglasses. All right, so I'm gonna show you here. You're gonna create a self-portrait, once again, a picture of yourself, and you're gonna add sunglasses to it, and you're gonna show a reflection in the sunglasses. All right, I put on these sunglasses, first of all, because I'm so cool. Second of all, because you're all so bright. <laughs> Third of all, uh, so that you can see how that reflection works, right? So if you look into these sunglasses, what do you see? You are looking at my computer screen, right? This is like a mirror. Each one is like its own little mirror. And you see the picture in this one, and you see the same picture in this one. It's like a double, right? So we're gonna draw some sunglasses and have fun with that reflection. It's gonna look really cool. It's not too hard to do either. So uh, here are some examples that some students made. You can see they put, in some of these, you know, they put like a different picture, like this side has one picture, this side has another picture. That's fine. You can do it that way. Um, this one has like the football field, this one has the goal post. You can do it that way if you want. Or if you want it to be accurate, like real life, you can see this student here, she put the same thing here and the same thing here. That's actually what it would look like. So you can do that either way. I also have a few more sunglasses pictures just to give you an example of what that looks like. These are real life pictures. So you can see like, this also gives you some ideas of uh, different, uh, different types of sunglasses. So like, you know, down here we got the round sunglasses. I like those ones. And she's in Paris looking at the Eiffel Tower. And you can see the Eiffel Tower in both, right? It's like the same picture here, same picture here. You can see it pretty clearly too, it's really neat. And there's different colors, like my sunglasses have kind of a yellow to orange to red. These ones have like an orange to yellow to green. So you can add some colors to them. Yeah, just thought I'd show you those examples. So, uh, let's get drawing, okay? A uh, big focus of this is just gonna be, you know, how do I draw a self-portrait, right? So let's aim this camera down and get that set up. Just a second. This part's tricky. You gotta flip that. Okay. Look in. Good looking smart. Okay. You can see this little area. Let's put a little guy up there for you to look at. Or you know what I'll do? I'll put some sunglasses there for you. There we go. Hey, you can see you can see me in the sunglasses. Neat. Okay, so to make our self-portrait, and I'm actually gonna make this a little smaller so you can see these ones, and they're all a little different, that's fine. I'm using a pencil. It's pretty important to use a pencil first for this one. If you absolutely cannot find a pencil, that's okay, but it's gonna be best to use a pencil because you're gonna wanna erase a little bit. You're gonna start with the shape of the head, okay? And the head is not actually a circle. It's actually going to be more like longer oval shape and it's going to get smaller on the bottom for your chin. Okay, and you see I'm drawing this pretty lightly so that I can adjust it, like I can fix that line a little bit if I need to. Alright, so it's more like an oval shape and you know you get a little smaller on the bottom for your chin rather than just being a circle. Alright, now the eyes a lot of times people draw the eyes at the top, but the eyes are actually directly in the middle of this, if you can believe that, because this is all hair. You got a lot of head and hair above your eyes. So I like to lightly find the middle and draw a line through so that I know where that is. And I'm gonna erase that line later. That's just kind of to show me, you know, this is where the eyes go, directly in the middle, okay? So um, you can start with your sunglasses, and there's so many different types of sunglasses. Um, I'm gonna give myself big round ones because I like those. Oh no, no, I just had a new idea. Good thing I'm using a pencil. 
I'm gonna make heart-shaped sunglasses. I love those. It's like you're having, you just have love vision wherever you look. Okay, so I made some heart-shaped sunglasses, the little attachment thing in the middle, and then you can put the lines going back if you go kind of a diagonal like this. It looks like it's going straight back, so that's kind of neat. That's up to you. You design your sunglasses however you want, okay? And I'm actually also going to add a little line in the inside so that it looks like it has a rim. You see that? You just kind of trace along the inside of your sunglasses. They can be any shape you want. They could be stars. You can make up your own shape. What if you had ones that were like big triangles? Wouldn't that be cool? Anything you want. You design your own sunglasses. Your nose. There's so many different ways to do a nose. Um, I think that this one is a good simple option, almost just like an L shape. Um, this one that's just like a little bump going downward is a good option. Or you can try a more realistic nose like this one. It's totally up to you. There's so many ways to do it. I'm going to just draw this little kind of L shape. That's going to be my nose. That's good enough. And then, of course, same with the mouth. So many ways to do it. I'm going to give myself a big smile. This is kind of a cartoonish smile. I draw that shape. Teeth come down here. Little line. Yeah, that's a big summertime smile right there. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do your hair. So hair, a lot of times people just draw a bunch of lines for hair, right? And I get it because that's kind of what your hair is. But then it just kind of looks like this scribbly spaghetti. Think about your hair more like shapes, okay? So, like, let me just uh, show you real quick. Hang on. I'm going to show you my face so we can look at my hair. So if we look at my hair, right, this is how I usually wear it. Let's look at the shapes. I've got kind of one shape here. You can see this, right? And then this whole part, this long part is like one shape, right? So when I draw it, I'm going to draw it like this part and then this part. And then I'll add any textures or little lines. Okay, so kind of maybe if you need to look in the hair, or sorry, look in the mirror and take a look at your hair to see what shapes there are, which is probably a good idea. So let's go back to the drawing. Good. All right. So I had kind of a shape here, and I'm just sketching lightly so that, you know, if it doesn't look right, I can change it. There, and then we've got long hair that comes down like this. I'm just coming up with a shape. It goes up like this, and then down. Yeah, I'd say that looks like my hair. See, this is a shape here, and I'll draw it a little harder now that it looks how I want. And then here's a shape up, and this way I made up this shape here. You see that? Two shapes. And then of course I've got my beard. So I'll give myself my big fuzzy beard, otherwise it's not really going to look like me. Alright! And then I'm just erasing this line because my beard is going to be my chin line. And I'll erase any extra lines I don't need. And there you have it, right? That's a good self-portrait with some sunglasses. I can even add, you know, two lines down here for a neck and then two lines going down for shoulders and then give yourself a shirt. I'll just give myself a little t-shirt. You can put something on your shirt if you want. So that's the basics of the self-portrait. Okay. Whoa! Hey camera. How's it going? All right. And now is when we're going to really uh, start to have some fun with it. And that's the coloring. I'm going to start with the sunglasses because that's really the, I'd say, the meat and potatoes of this. Okay. So, um, I'm going to make, oh, I have this line that I drew through the middle too that I'm going to erase. If you draw it light enough, it's easy to erase it and you won't see it. So, I want to think, what am, you know, what is this picture of me looking at? And I, I'm personally, I'm going to make it something nice and summery. Okay. So, um, let me think. Something I love to do in the summer. Oh! I can't forget my favorite summertime activity. Blowing bubbles! Right? So, 
I'm going to add a horizon line. Uh, the horizon line means like, you know, this is the ground and this is the sky. And then I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is the same thing in both because that's what it's really going to look like. And I'm going to draw my bubbles. One here, I'll draw the same one here. Draw a little bubble attached to it. Same one right here. Some smaller bubbles here. Same bubbles here. Right, same, same. One here, one here. And then maybe one going over the horizon line. There we go, blowing bubbles. So, you're basically just gonna color this um, like you would the actual scene, all right? And if you wanna add, you know, make it like my sunglasses where they have this color, you could add that later or, you know, figure out a way to do that too. I'm just gonna color it like I would normally. So when I color bubbles, you know, bubbles actually have a whole entire rainbow of colors in them, which is pretty cool. And actually, bubbles actually reflect what's around them as well. But I'm not going to get into that. That would be too complicated. I'm not going to do reflections inside my reflections. That would be a whole different drawing. So, yeah, I'm just coloring my bubbles. Each one's going to have each color of the rainbow. A little bit of each color. Purple. Dash of purple. little dash of blue that's good for me for now I might add more later we'll see okay and then I'm gonna do a sunset if you know me you know I almost never make the sky blue because I think it's a waste when you could uh, use sunset colors so my bubbles will be rainbow and then my sunset will also be rainbow and you know what when the sun's setting it really is the perfect time for bubbles too because the bubbles they reflect all of those beautiful sunset colors it's just gorgeous all right so there's that and then i'm gonna go yellow And I'll use blue for the very, the very edge of the sky. So it still looks like sky. There we go. Look at that. Cool. Some bubbles and a sunset. And then I'm going to just make this grass on the bottom. I wonder what your sunglasses are reflecting. Maybe it's the beach. Anyone miss the beach? Maybe it's uh, playing Gaga Ball outside a recess add a few different greens to mine and if you don't have colors at home that's okay you can make this work like we looked one of the examples we looked at was a photo you know the photo where she was looking at the Eiffel Tower in Paris that one was black and white and you might not even have noticed so that's cool so yeah you could just use shading and use black and white if, if that's all you got you use what you got I'm gonna outline these in red and then maybe color them a different color Right. Cool, look at those sunglasses, nice reflection. And then I'm just gonna color the rest of my face. Um, there's not much to that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work on that for a little while. 
I'm going to turn off my microphone here uh, so you can focus a little bit and we'll check in in a little while.
And I actually kind of finished coloring this pretty quickly because I work really fast. Some of you might work fast too. Some of you a little slower, that's okay. Yeah, everyone does it their own way. Um, but I'm just gonna work on the background. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the sky match the background on my sunglasses. Alright everybody, we are almost out of time, and I do have a cool video to share with you as well. You can keep drawing if you want, you draw as long as you got time for, okay? But we're almost out of time for our class. So a few things I did here, if you're looking for things to add, I outlined it with a thick black uh, crayon, and that really helped me to see everything clearly, and just to like make it pop. 
I added the sunset colors to the background that match the glasses, which is a cool effect. And I actually also put a little bit of those sunset colors in with my face, which is and my teeth even, which is weird because I know my face isn't pink and orange and purple, but when you're outside like that, it does kind of light up your face like that. So just a little bit in with the skin tone I did. And I even put some in my hair here. You can hardly tell but it just kind of gives it that sunset sort of glow. So that's something that I did. Um, I used diff two different browns in my hair. I used a dark brown for some shadowy parts and had some lines, and then a lighter brown, right? Those are some things I did there. And I gave myself a tie-dye shirt, because I love wearing tie-dyes. I make them, my wife makes them, my brother makes them, and yeah. And it also, those match the sunglasses in the sky. So, you know, it's a nice nice piece of art when, when these things all match each other. It looks good together. It looks good with itself, right? So, just some cool things that I did there I wanted to share with you. And if you direct your attention right here, I'm going to show you a cool art video. Actually, hang on just one second. I'm going to turn off this other music. Because this video has music. Beep, beep, boop, doing computer stuff. Beep. Okay. Beep. And boop. This is an amazing picture. So this artist is drawing some sunglasses with a pencil. And then they're going to add in the reflections. And this is such a skilled artist that they make these reflections look real. If you didn't see them dry, you would think that's fake. It's real. shadows really make it look more convincing. Looks like a little pair of sunglasses sitting right there. I would try to pick them up and put them on. Oh, you can have those scratches. Wow. Cool. Very neat. That's a nice drawing right there. So, you know, we learned a little bit about reflections. And we had some fun today making a summery sort of drawing a little bit of those vibes of summertime for you your hawaiian music back on a little bit so i hope everybody's doing okay out there i'll see you again pretty soon and just keep making art keep that sun shining in your soul all right just because it's winter doesn't mean we can't be warm and happy all right take care everybody bye bye